Today we're gonna make Christmas noodles or old-fashioned noodles. My husband calls them Christmas noodles. So that's what I call them now. But Aaron's grandma used to make these all the time and she unfortunately passed away before we had Ethan. And I just recently finally figured out how to make them. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys how I do it. Whether this is the way she did it or not, I couldn't tell you, but this is the way that has worked for me and they come out tasting pretty similar to hers. So the first thing you're gonna do is get some sort of cooked chicken. What I'm gonna do is just put some chicken in my oven at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour depending upon how thick the chicken breasts are and I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started but you can use a rotisserie chicken you can use um, chicken legs just take pick off the bone and the skin and you could do this all the day before I just do it all same day okay so my chicken is done I'm gonna let that cool a little bit and I have my pan here set on high and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and dump in two quarts of chicken broth I just use the chicken broth um, low sodium gluten free all that stuff chicken broth but you need two quarts to make the amount that I'm making here and this this makes about six bowls in there and bring that to a boil okay and then in a Bowl, you're going to take two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and you're going to give that a good mix. And then you're going to take salted butter, and you need two tablespoons, and you're going to cut that up into chunks. I chopped up my butter. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just mush the butter in between my fingers in the flour. Until it's all smooth or as smooth as I could possibly get it anyway the next you're gonna take your measuring cup and you're gonna put a little less than a cup um, you might need a full cup in between three-fourths and a cup it really just depends your with your dough and stuff and if you put enough um, flour and all that in there so I added just a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together and then I'm going to add a little more. Mix together. Woo! Making a mess already. I'm a messy cook. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. And then a little of the rest of it there. And sometimes I have to add a little bit more. Um, sometimes it's a little less. It just really depends on the day. But you want this really nice dough form, and there's a lot of uh, flour still in there, so I'm just going to add a splash. Most times I use exactly a cup, so just keep that in mind. So once you have like this doughy consistency, you're going to put flour down on your clean space. Make sure you have a clean surface. I cannot stress a clean surface enough. The broth is starting to boil. So, that's good. I'm gonna blob this out here. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of flour, rub this on the rolling pin so it doesn't stick to my rolling pin. And then a little bit on top of my dough here. And keep your flour out because you're probably gonna need to um, continue to flour your surface because this dough is gonna get sticky as the flour works through it. So what I'm doing is just picking up some flour to try to work it through on my roller. And then you wanna about a fourth of an inch thick. So you just kinda roll it out. So. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of flour on top again because it's starting to stick a little bit and patch up any holes. So now you can take a knife, a pizza cutter, whatever tool you choose to use. I prefer a pizza cutter because it's just easier and you're going to make small little lines here because it's going to puff up when you start to cook it. There's that and then you're just going to go across and 
these again, like I said, does not have to be perfect, but you do want to kind of make these bite size. And remember, like I said, they will puff up. I'm just gonna do that, and now I'm gonna go ahead and shred my chicken. What you're gonna do is make sure none of these are sticky. If they're sticky, when you go to pick them up, just take a little bit of your flour and kind of just pat it in the flour because you do not want these sticking together. So you want them really floured up. And then what you're gonna do is in your boiling water, just drop them in. And try to drop them in one at a time so they don't start sticking together. But as long as you have enough flour on them, they won't. So keep your water boiled and hot and slowly start adding in your biscuit pieces. You're gonna bring your broth back up to a boil and then set your timer for 15 to 20 minutes. I usually do 20 minutes just because some of them um, are a little thicker than I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 20 minutes. And just keep stirring so nothing sticks to the bottom. But keep a consistent boil. And then you're gonna just add pepper to this. All right, so how you know it's done is when your dumplings pretty much sink. And I always taste mine. I pick like the thickest one that I could find and taste it and as long as it doesn't taste doughy, it's done. And mine actually still had like 10 minutes on it just because it was sitting in that hot water even though it wasn't boiling. So, you know, you just wanna keep an eye on it, keep stirring it and then taste the noodles once you start to see them sink. And that's pretty much it. Now you just serve it and pepper it up. I'm gonna say this makes about six servings. So there you go. If you have a big family, you're gonna wanna double this because my husband and I and my son will devour this whole pot tonight because it's that good. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later and I hope that helped. Bye.